Hey y'all, I'm here with a review of some new products that I got from Catrice Cosmetics. Thank you Catrice for reaching out to me and sending me these products to try out. Uh, I never heard of Catrice Cosmetics until they reached out to me, so I'm excited to give you guys my thoughts on some of those things. Now they sent a wide range of different products. We have a few different face products, which I'm really interested in testing out with y'all today. I've already tried the True Skin Foundation, so today we're doing the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. They sent me two shades of that. I got a concealer as well. There was a face serum that they sent me, but I might have to do like a follow-up video on that uh, to give you my thoughts. We also have a matte primer. We have a setting spray. We have a highlighter, a mascara. Ooh, and this uh, eyeshadow palette. It is a mauve tone, I guess purpley palette. I tried it out during my stream. I tried out most of these products during my stream for the first time. So if you wanna hear my first impressions, go ahead and check out that video linked somewhere floating. I don't know where yet, but uh, yes. Um, that and a few lip products as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to do a, a wear test just for these HD Liquid Covers foundations. If you would like me to do a video on the True Skin Foundation or, I mean, any of the other Catrice products. I tried to use a bit of everything today, but the only things that I did not use today was the Self Made Bay eyeshadow palette, the True Skin Foundation, and the matte primer keep me matte primer and i did use those during my stream please focus oh my god this is chaos i did use those products in my last stream so just check out the video i'll have it linked above but i just wanted to do more like condensed reviews uh just so i can give my full thoughts on each product is that a bug so i'll probably do a review on the true skin foundation as well so this claims to last up to 24 hours and I'm not able to do a full wear test but I'm, I'm gonna wear it for as long as I normally would which I don't really wear makeup every day so I don't normally wear makeup for more than a couple hours I wear makeup to stream or shoot videos and then that's it but I'm gonna try and wear this for like a full work day so like about eight hours all right let's get started ow the oh I'm still recording <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my base. Oops. All right, a little chaotic, but first we're gonna start by priming. <laughs> all right, I'm taking my Jelly Pop primer and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Uh, I'm using a dewy primer since we're gonna be using mostly matte products on our face today. So um, I'm applying this all over and I'm going to be focusing this around the sides of my mouth. Uh, and my nose because that's where I have foundation breaking up the most. Uh, I'm hoping to get all my scars covered. I kind of want a full coverage look today and these foundations I think they do claim to be full coverage so we're going for a full beat um, and after I apply that I take my Laura Mercier translucent powder in honey and I use this powder with a sponge to set my face. Uh, to set my primer specifically. This is a great thing to do if you want more of a long-lasting finish. And after I apply powder all in my nooks and crannies, I will take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the orange shade, I think. I think this is orange. Um, I used to use peach, but I ran out of that. So we're just using orange now, and I'm using this to apply to my inner eye corners around the side of my mouth and on some dark spots that I have. And I use my Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush to blend out that concealer. I concentrate it around the areas that I apply. I do try and spread it around the sides of my mouth just to cover up any dark spots or to help with my discoloration. Now I realize this might mix in a little bit with the fount. Uh, now, if this orange mixes in a little bit with my concealer that I'm gonna put on, that's okay, because the concealer that I'm gonna use next is a little bit on the neutral side. So this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. This is supposed to be waterproof as well, but I'm not gonna dunk my head in water to figure that out. So we're just gonna see if it creases around my mouth. So now I'm just gonna take this and dot it around the sides of my mouth. Now, the first thing that hit me was the smell. It smells like no lie relaxer. 
definitely it's smelling like just for me, except it's not for me. Real strong. I don't know what that is. Perfumes. But I'm taking my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. And I'm going to apply this like around the area that I applied the Catrice uh, concealer. It's almost running out. But this concealer is my tried and true. Um, it's helping me get rid of some of the grayness that I was getting around my mouth from the Catrice concealer. Like I already felt it coming. I'm also going to contour under my foundation with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and my Gamer Glam Cosmetics Brush. Ain't it pretty? This is the shade Espresso. I just take it around the perimeter of my mouth to contour underneath my foundation. Ain't nothing special. So now I'm going to take the same Catrice Concealer. Hold on, I forgot my choker. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take my Catrice concealer and I'm gonna apply that under my eyes. Now I'm hoping that maybe a neutral would work okay here. I hate how close it is to my eye. I feel like the fumes are gonna burn it. But I noticed that this blends out really nicely. Like how smooth it looks. It's just, it's kind of too bright. Actually, not even too bright, it's ashy. So I'm not really liking how that looks. I tested it on my chest because I'm like, why does it look so gray on my face? Uh, it blends on my chest, but like I didn't put that much on, so that's not really a, a good enough test. And I couldn't leave this alone, so I decided to take my Born to Glow Concealer in the shade Golden, and I applied a bit of that on top and blended it in with the Catrice Concealer just to give me a little bit more warmth. So as I'm doing my makeup, I'm watching Adrian Expression's latest video right now. <laughs> Please go check out Adrian, it's so funny. But anyways, uh, sorry for the lighting change, I had to open the window. But we're, yes, we're going in with the HD uh, Liquid Coverage Foundation. So I'm taking 80 first. It's a little thick, it's kind of kind of weird. Now, the color I thought was gonna work a little bit better, but it turned out to look a bit darker than I originally thought. It's a shade or two too dark. Um, and my face and my chest have lightened a lot over this past year, so don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna test out 70 right next to it. I noticed that it's a lot lighter in like consistency, and it's actually, it weighs less, which is strange. Um, but I don't know if they're supposed to have different formulas for different shades. This shade is a little on the orange side, but I have hope. Now I'm looking at the foundations online, and I wanted to see like what the shade range was like. Um, and it seems like there are about, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about 26 shades. And that's a good amount of shades. Now, when I looked at the swatches and like the examples, I was getting a little bit confused. It seems as though they have picture references for some shades and they have swatches for some shades, but not every single shade has an example. Now, as I was clicking through these different shades, I also noticed that each shade name in the picture reference is also followed by the word beige at the end. So I think all of these shades are like toffee beige, uh, golden beige, this beige, everything's a beige and it's kind of, is that why my shades seem a little bit neutral? Or, I don't know. It seems like the line runs a bit neutral. I think there are in-between shades missing for the dark or the deep dark skin tones and I think a few more darker shades could be added. Um, I don't know, think about it. Also, can we get swatches on dark arms, dark skin, brown arms? Like having the swatches on just light to medium arms doesn't really help me out too much. So, you know, it's just a thought. All right, so I'm going to take shade 70 and I'm just gonna blend that out all over my face. And as I'm blending it, I'm noticing that it's getting more and more orange the more I pat it in. I'm trying not to be discouraged. I'm just going to apply it and spread it down my neck as much as I can. But it, it, it's, it's, it's orange. I don't know what to say. It's just really orange. And I'm hoping I can make this work by maybe using some concealer magic. So I'm going back in with Born to Glow. And I'm just applying that around my mouth and on my jawline and the center of my face just to see if I can balance out the color. And that that helped. You know, it's the best I could do. So moving on, I'm just gonna set my face with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm especially focusing that on the places I highlighted and around the corners of my mouth and my smile lines to keep me from creasing too much. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and spread the powder around the rest of my face. So now I'm gonna take my Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar and I'm gonna take the middle orange shade and bronze around the sides of my temples and between my cheekbones. 
And then I'm gonna take my NYX micro brow pencil and I'm going to fill in my brows really quick. I follow the natural shape. I like doing a feathered look. Now I'm going to take the Prime and Fine setting spray. And before I apply that, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face with this setting spray. It looks really violent, <laughs> but it's actually a soft mist. And it looks really nice. I think it gives me a nice natural dewy glow. It's not overly dewy. All right, so we finished at 654. Remember that. Now All right, now I'm just gonna continue and finish my eye look. Starting off with the same Catrice concealer as a base. And then for my eye look, I don't wanna do anything too spectacular. So I'm just gonna do my everyday look, which usually is just eyeliner, a little bit of shadow underneath. And I'm gonna use my Gamer Glam Desert Warrior palette for that. Now, if you don't know about Gamer Glam Cosmetics, they are a video game inspired makeup brand that is also black woman owned. I really love the Desert Warrior palette and I'm keeping my eye on the Game Over palette. And their eyeshadow pigmentation is really awesome. Beautiful quality. We're partnered with Gamer Glam Cosmetics as well. So if you wanna get yourself a nice 10% discount on your next Gamer Glam order, use code SHRIMPBACK97. That is code SHRIMPBACK97. All right, next up is the highlighter, the, what is this called? More Than Glow Highlighter. So I'm kind of torn about this product. It has really good pigmentation. However, I don't know if this is the color for me. It's really frosty, really iridescent. Those are not really colors that I like to use. It's so bright, I don't even know what to do with it, to be honest with you. Um, a little bit goes a really long way, so I'm, I'm assuming it'll look really good on like cosplays and stuff, but for now, it's just going on my inner corner as a highlight. Um, I would use it on the ball of my eye, maybe, but I'm just kind of scared because it's so bright. Now, I use a, the tiniest bit on my brow bone as a highlight. I just wanted to see how it would look, and I think it looks okay as a brow bone highlight. I just have to be so light-handed with it. All right, so now I'm gonna take this gold highlighter from the Brownie Bar palette again, and I'm gonna use this to highlight my cheekbones and uh, kind of like a C-shape around the side of my face. I didn't wanna go overboard. I think I did go overboard, but I don't care. I really like this gold highlight. I know they say don't mix silver and gold, but I did anyways, and I like how it came out. All right, so next I'm just gonna draw a wing on both of my eyes. I like to extend it out a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and give this mascara a try. I don't have too much to say about this, to be honest with you. It works. It's fine. It doesn't really elongate. And you know, it darkens my lashes, but it doesn't do too much. Next, I'm gonna apply this lip balm. This is like a plumping lip balm. I accidentally smushed it. Now I'm putting this on to prep my lips for other lip products. Now I'm gonna take this liquid lip balm, which I thought was a lipstick, but it's actually a liquid lip balm. It's like a nice peachy color. And then I'm gonna also take the lip oil and put that on as a gloss on top of everything so I can get a nice pinky glossy lip color. And there we have it, the finished look. All right, so I'm just gonna go and do stuff. I'll check back in in a couple of hours to see how it looks. It is now 1.25. Hold on, we started at six, around 6.50, almost seven. It's been about six hours, <laughs> almost seven hours since I initially put this foundation on my face. This is how it's looking so far. I was expecting it to look really flaky, but it's actually not. Like, I get dryness around the corners of my mouth too, and I'm not experiencing that. That usually happens with matte foundations. Mind you, I did use like dewy products with this, so like I use a dewy spray and I use a dewy primer. However, that's how I always do my makeup. My base always has like a mix of dewy and matte. I have extra, well, it's not super duper oily skin, but I live in Florida. I'm looking at the corners of my mouth and I was like laughing and smiling a lot. Like did a little bit of greasing, but like I usually have a little bit of foundation breaking off around my nose. It's a little bunched up in the corner here. I look glowy. 
it's a manageable glow it's not like oil slick and i really like that it was like 90 something degrees outside i spent most of my day in the house it didn't break apart anywhere else on my face the coverage is still full coverage so i really like how easy this is to apply to it blended out really well does this claim to be full coverage it says lightweight non-oily texture that feels like second skin provides a long lasting full coverage without makeup without mask effect and creates an even complexion. I don't know if this lasts 24 hours. I wouldn't recommend wearing this for 24 hours, but with the way it's looking now, I think I could go maybe a few more hours. Now, toffee beige is what I'm wearing on my face right now, but I think I would use caramel beige as a contour color it's like a nice medium brown color and it might make me look a little bit orange if i put it on by itself it would just take way too much correcting for me to get this to work so nope yeah toffee beige i'd say it's a bit on the orange side if this was like one shade lighter i would be way happier with this <sighs> that's usually the issue for me with foundations I'll always be able to find like something that's within the range but it's always too orange I want to blot my face patting some powder on top here I like a soft glow or a natural finish um, and I think that this foundation gave me a nice natural finish and I think it is long wearing like yeah it still looks super smooth it looks almost as if I just applied it i just think that the shades need some help all right so you can see that right but 70 is just way too orange as you can see we could have we could use some in between shades toffee is the one two three four five six to last shade it seems like there's about seven dark colors out of all 20 is that 20 shades it's about 20 shades I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. I'm looking at the swatches right now and I'm like, that's as deep as it goes, really? But I'm like, is the shade beforehand, bronze, is that even going to be a good enough match for me? I don't know. It's, this is the, okay, so the concealer, the liquid camouflage high coverage concealer was okay to me. It says it's waterproof and non-transfer. I think it lasts really well. I put it under my eyes. Um, that and the Born This Way concealer, so I did use this somewhat on its own. It's just too neutral. I can't use this on its own. This is a shade bronze beige. Yeah, it's the beiges for me. Why is everything beige? I am definitely not a bronze beige. I'm not a beige anything. It was a bit too neutral. It came off kind of ashy when I put it under my eyes. My under eyes looked a little bit ashy. Uh, long lasting i think so my under eyes have not creased much like i always crease under this eye but it's not really significant and i have to like really look closely to be able to see whether whether i'm having any creasing and i don't see any still it's really smooth under i only was able to make this work if i mixed it with a more yellow concealer so that's a big con for me i think it seems like at least the darker colors or at least my skin tone range those colors that Catrice offers seem to be more neutral. So this spray is probably my favorite thing from the collection that they sent to me. I love this fixing spray so much. This does an excellent job of setting my face, uh, giving my whole face a real natural glow. If you're oily, don't be afraid of doing this. If you have a matte foundation that you know might be a little bit too drying, it sucks up a little bit too much moisture, this is a great, great mix. This Keep It Matte Primer, I used this during my uh, live stream. I didn't use it this time. This was, I mean, it was okay, I think. <laughs> I didn't really notice anything particularly special. Now, when I used this primer, I used it with the uh, True Skin Foundation. And it, it looked like it was just breaking up a little bit over the day or throughout the day and i don't know if that was the foundation or if that was the primer and i only wore that for like a couple hours that was a night stream so it was only on for a few hours it was kind of breaking up around the nose area and that's where i focused this product that's where i focused the primer is around the nose area because that's where i get the most oily so i don't know if this caused that 
um, I would have to try this again. I will keep you posted on how I feel about this. There will probably, probably be more follow-up videos. This is more so first impressions and just a wear test. I think it did do a good job of like smoothing out my pores. I don't, know, I don't feel like it was any anything special, but I'd have to try this in different scenarios. So we'll see. Next up, this palette, this Self Made Bay palette is very, very okay, I would say. Um, yeah, this palette is kind of mediocre, um, <laughs> in, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's not the worst palette, honestly. Like, I can make most of these shades work. I think those shadows are just okay. The color payoff is decent. I can make them work. Um, the darks are a little bit hard to blend. During my stream, I used this palette and I was trying to blend hashtag equality and- oh, they're all hashtags. Why didn't I realize that before? Hashtag e equal- equal pay is what it says and then hashtag hustle and I had a really hard time blending those colors they just looked really muddy on me the metallics come off pretty nicely and I like that what does the back say yas queen you were born to shine oh they have it in different languages is this in German oh yeah queen I'm screaming they have it in French too really want to say that this color right here HBIC, which I think means head bitch in charge. That took me a second. <laughs> Alright, so here are the swatches from the stream. I really wasn't digging the top row. Now the bottom two rows did okay. They came off a little, a little dry looking. Shimmers did best, but my main issue is with these top two rows. Because half of this palette is kind of unusable for me, I don't think I'll be reaching for this much. Maybe for the gold color, because that's a nice highlight. But other than that, it's just okay. This comes off ashy, these colors come off ashy. So I, I don't know how this will fare on darker skin, folks. This highlighter is Supreme Rose Bean. <laughs> this is a bright highlighter, very bright. I think it does what it came to do. Now, should it do it on me? I don't know. Hello, hello, okay. It's just so frosty. Frosty colors are not really my cup of tea. I might be using this as an eyeshadow. This is definitely a great inner corner highlight for like galaxy or fairy looks. If you're looking for a frosty color, this is this shit will work. Next, this mascara, I don't know what to say. I think it's a decent mascara. It's like one of these really short, short bristle. Can I please get some focus? I don't get any flaking. I don't care too much about mascaras. I just need one that's skinny enough to get my bottom lashes. And you know, it, it did the job. I think it separates my lashes decently. It's just, I like longer bristle spoolies more than these. It's not flaking, that's all I ask for. Next is the uh, lip balm. The one that I accidentally smashed. It makes my lips tingle, which is nice. It's supposed to be a lip plumper, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't really need lip plumping myself, but I do think this does a decent job at keeping my lips moisturized. My lips are softer after using this. I've been using this every day. <laughs> Out of all the products that were sent to me, this is what I use every day. It has mint and, and menthol, I think. So it gives you that little burning sensation. I don't know what it is. It's probably just blood rushing to my lips, but it makes them pinker. See how they look pinker? Perfect for me to move on to uh, what I would do next, clear lip gloss. This clear lip gloss, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a lip oil, clean ID lip oil. This is, I can't read this. Enriched with highly caring uh, ingredients like avocado oil, watermelon, love your skin. <laughs> that was so hard to read. It's a thick, like clear gloss. Um, they say it's an oil, but it kind of just feels like a gloss and that's great. That's nice, I guess. It's a little bit on the sticky side when you first apply it, but I would put this on before applying like my lip products. Actually, like at the start of my makeup, I would probably apply this. So yeah, I like this. Well, I used this on top of this lip balm earlier today and it's real, it's real subtle. It came off earlier because I was eating, 
but it's like a nice corally pink color. It doesn't add too much color, but just enough to make your lips look a little bit more flushed. I love it. This is actually a lip balm, uh, a liquid lip balm, but I digress. All right, so those are all my thoughts on Catrice Cosmetics. For now, overall, I'm excited to explore this brand. Thank you so much for sending me these products. I think I, I think I overall enjoyed. I, I do have some critiques, but I think that I reviewed these as if I picked these up and bought them myself. These formulas, the formulas are there. It's just the shades could use some help. If you want to go and check out all the products that I use today, they're going to be listed down below. Even the ones that aren't Catrice Cosmetics, I'm going to have them listed down below. I'm going to get in the habit of doing that more often. I will see you guys later. I don't know when this video will be up. This video, sh this is Thursday, it's Thursday now. <gasps> this video should be up the next week. I think it's really cool to see affordable brands looking into uh gamers and streamers as well because i'm seeing a lot of i'm seeing a lot of brands take interest in the gaming influencer market but i really think that we need to remember that though a lot of us are gamers and streamers not all of us are rich gamers and streamers to be a gamer and a streamer you kind of have to spend a little bit of dough it doesn't have to be a lot right away but if you want to reach into influencer territory we do spend a lot of money and not a lot of us can spend a lot of money on equipment and makeup. I'm going to need more drugstore brands to look into the gaming influencer market because we are out there. Well, there are a lot of makeup wearers on there. Not everyone on Twitch is doing gaming. There's a lot of makeup lovers and there's a lot of people who want to get into makeup who are on Twitch. There's also the cosplay community, competitive cosplays to smaller closet cosplays that involve using mostly makeup are interested in brands at this price catrice i see you if you don't follow me on twitch you should go ahead and follow me for live beauty streams i do unboxings there try-ons and i also stream artwork and video games occasionally games like cozy grove dead by daylight when i'm feeling nasty i have a uh, I have more thoughts, more videos coming. Let me know if there's any other uh, products you'd like me to review, if there's anything on the list below that you would like me to review and talk about. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I just want to give a special thanks to my coffee supporters, everyone who supported me throughout the months of May and June. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are part of the reason why I was able to put up this video today, so thank you. Um, if you want to support me on coffee, the link is down in my description box below. Coffee supporters get access to bonus content like vlogs, cosplay sets, personal artwork, makeup looks that I don't post, and they also get early access to all the posts from YouTube to Twitter to Instagram. Y'all get to see it first. So go ahead and head over to my coffee, follow my other social media links below, and I will see you guys next time.